The steps to make the snowman are really simple. And here is uh, what the raw clay looks like after it's dried. Uh, but what we do is we start off with our clay ball and we're gonna be pinching off, here's my blob, and it's about an inch and a quarter wide 3D blob of clay. And I'm gonna be pinching off Skittle sized pieces. So you wanna remember Skittles, a little um, blueberry size piece. And for the earmuffs, we're gonna use a grape size piece of clay. So we pinch off, and it helps if you match on the worksheets. Um, if you, my worksheets, there's a link to my worksheets um, in the information section in the video. Uh, this is a Skittle size. It helps for the kids. So you pinch off, and you're just pinching off a 3D blob, a blueberry size. I have my blob. I'm just pulling the clay off. So it's approximately a blueberry. If it's a little bit bigger, that's okay. We can adjust them later. And then I need this grape size clay here. So I pinch off for approximately a grape size. And I have all of my little clays lined up. If you're using my worksheets, you just press place them next to the worksheet if you wanna double check your size right there. That's how I use it with the kids. The next step is to take the rest of this blob and we're going to roll it in a really quick ball. To make the ball, put it in the center of your hand. And if you have big areas that stick out, just give them a light press with your finger. Remember, the more you touch the clay, the drier the clay becomes. And dry clay is no good clay. So I press it and I'm gonna do a very fast ball. One, two, three, four, five, I'm done. It doesn't have to be perfect. It, it does not have to be perfect. It just needs, because we're gonna be pressing it. So then I take the clay and I'm going to press and I'm gonna press again and flip it over. Just like this. And I'm pushing. We have with me here live, this is a live class, as you can tell, first graders are gonna be making this project today. So I press it in, this into a cookie, the size of a Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookie. So I'm pressing even. Now you put your pinky finger, I don't want it to be thinner than my pinky finger. I want it to be a nice thick cookie, look at that. It's the thickness of my pinky finger. From here, I'm going to take a wood tool, and these are just a little simple rounded wood tool. If you don't have one of these round wood tools with a point, you can just use a pencil. Pencil works fine. And then I'm going to put a hole in the middle. Just go right through with the wood tool, and that's centered. The next step, if you have little crumbs on the back, you can kind of pull them away. The next step, I'm going to roll those little Skittle balls just a, like a two second ball, one, two. And I'm gonna put them, and I'm not gonna press them in yet. I'm gonna roll the other one, the Skittle shapes. And if you want your eyes to be close together, it can be close together on your snowman. You can have your eyes a little bit far apart. Don't have them near the edge though, because we need to plan and have room right here for the ear muffs. So I kind of like the cute look of it close together. So I'm gonna put it close together and when you, and you want it to be above the circle. And I'm just gonna give a light press. And then I'm gonna use the back end of the wood tool or you can use a back end of a pencil and press in, press in. And this will join the clay to the bottom. This will join the top clay to the bottom. If I just left this, this would just fall off. But this pushes the clay together and it joins the two pieces. The next step is to take the blueberry size clay and I'm gonna roll this into a two second ball. That means roll for two seconds. One, two, bang. Then 
I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to like make a coil with this, but it's going to be a short fat coil. I'm going to lightly press down on the mat and I'm letting the clay roll up and back on my finger. So it's rolling up and back. And so it's a fat cube. I mean a fat barrel shape. And from there, I'm going to make this end pointed by rolling with my finger. I'm just going to touch one end and go back and forth. And so I've got a nice pointy carrot. Now, I want two ends on my carrot. Now, I'm going to assess. Oh, that is really too big. Look at that. So you assess it. You don't want it to be too, too big because that's just going to break off in the kiln. So I'm going to cut some of this off to the appropriate size and I'm going to roll the other end as well. So I'm pressing my finger on this end of the carrot. Always assess as you go along. If something's too big or too small, adjust it. I roll the other end and this is the end I'm going to be sticking in that hole. You can put a little bit of clay slip in here if you'd like or just, we have wet clay today. I'm gonna make that hole, adjust that hole a little bit and press it right in that hole and give a little push. And on the back, you see how it came through? I'm just gonna blend this in to attach my nose. That way the nose will not fall out. And then the next step is to take the grapes, break that grape size in half Roll a two second ball. One, two, whoop. Ooh, I almost dropped that one. One, two. And then I'm gonna place, place my earmuffs. I'm having it right on the face. I don't want it over on the edge like this. I want it on the face so it does not fall off. So I'm putting it on the face, adjust the sizes, and then press. On the back, if you see the seams where the two meet, blend those in together. You can put slip on before you press it if you'd like, but like I said, we're using really wet clay today and we're pressing it so hard these aren't gonna come off. The next step is to press in your little smiley. And you can do this any way you want to. You can use the point or the end. And this is gonna represent the coal the rock of his mouth, the little coal that kids use up north when they make their snowman. And so I've got my little smile pressed in. Now the teacher will do this for you. I'm gonna do this for the kids. What I do is I press in the back, right near the earmuffs, a little hole on this side, right here on this side, give a little wiggle. And after this is fired, this is going to be for the pipe cleaner. We'll stick the pipe cleaner in. Oh, that's a little too short. And then wrap it around. I'll cut this off. And this is where the pipe cleaner will go. But like I said, this is after it's fired and after we've painted it. And there is our little snowman. Also, what I'm gonna add after is I take a piece of felt after the kids have painted this, a strip of felt and we fringe the ends with scissors and then we stick the felt on with some hot glue right here under his neck. And that's an optional thing if you'd like to do it. And that's how you make the clay snowman.